In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about how you can create your own autocomplete search bar just like this one. We are going to using we are going to make an autocomplete search bar in specifically in React itself using the library called React Places Autocomplete itself. Now there are two things essentially required. Basically, we are going to use this library. The second thing is all about Google Places API. I will show you how can you do it, how can you really modify the security aspect and various stuff as well and how you can really style it according to your own taste and preferences. So let's get into the computer screen. So right now here we are in the computer screen. So before going on and try to do coding stuff here, I've already created the React app. But before that, I really want to show you something else. So we are going to use this library called Auto Places. Let me zoom it for, for a while. Okay, so this is the library. As you can see, this is quite popular library. More than one lakh users per weekly app download. And you can see there are a bunch of otherwise options out there. You can use this library. You can just, and there are a bunch of cool as well. So, but for, you can use props, value on change. You can use the state management also this one. There are a bunch of other way, uh, cool options and customization feature that you can do with this number one. So before going forward, you know, I really want to highly suggest you to read the documentation. So it would be really much more helpful for you. And also this video will be helpful. Definitely this video will be helpful. But if you have any custom requirements or something like that, that will be really uh, answered by this documentation itself. So being said that, let's get started into our own journey itself of making the autocomplete search. So what I'm really going to do is come back to my VS code. I've already created this and you can see as you can see this, I have really made it live. So if you go on type out here, local search, local host 3000, you can see this basic create react app boiler code. If I go up to this here, so first let me zoom it. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, let's back. Okay. This is also good. Okay, let me pull this down. Okay, so what I'll really do is go up right here, pull down this app.js, close everything of the header that we really need. Okay, you just remove this. We really need this app.css. So let this bring, bring this app.css up right here remove everything of this one here also and go up right here let's open the terminal control tilde and let's type out let's add another thing let's add npm i react places autocomplete complete let it get installed Okay, so now it has already got installed number one. So what we'll do is just go up right here and like import this code. Go back in the VS code itself, paste up, paste it right here. Oh, sorry. Uh, one thing that I really forgot is right, we don't want this function. We do want a class based component itself. Okay, we want to import uh app dot cs sorry, app dot css we want to also import this library from the places autocomplete after doing this what we will do is just go up right here copy this constructor handle change and etc go up continue just do it right here, paste it this one, this constructor props, this is for the state management, we really need this, go up right here, on the render page, just go pick this one, 
and yeah let's take this and paste it right here now you might really ask me that hey why haven't you choose this one handle change like latitude longitude and error as well the reason i haven't done that because for this tutorial and for this uh, the essence of this tutorial we really don't need this one but as i really said you can read this documentation it has a bunch of cool stuff out there and valuable knowledge to gain for now let me close this one first uh, okay so let me save this and just try to test how it really looks like okay control s control s okay and go up right here let me refresh this what happened what happened what happened what happened oh essentially it was a loading error so as you can see here it gives an error that this library requires the google map api now that's that's what it uh, the google map configuration really comes into handy play now what we will really require is just take this script that is essential google map api script go on to the public folder sorry yeah public folder bring on this index.html just clean this up we don't need this also clean this one just say for naming it we will name it as react lace auto complete tutorial okay let paste it right here but what we really need is like we will need this this api key now from where you can get this let me show you just you can go up and type here g maps api so this is something that you will really need you will really be uh, redirected to the google cloud platform now what essentially really uh, you need to do is you need to register your uh, account with google cloud services uh, it will essentially ask you a bunch of your basic details and uh, credit card credentials to really verify your bank detail as well without that it won't really uh, you won't be able to create your google cloud uh, account as well and the most in interesting feature is that you really get uh, 200 dollars of monthly credit to really use this absolutely for free and in my opinion this live this api does cost around five dollars per thousand request which is really handy so considering that you can really get twenty thousands of requests per month free of cost and even if really exceed and it's i don't think it's really that costly for you so i will get started up right here so i have already registered so i can't show you the registration process so you can do it on your own okay i'll go up right here apis okay so here we need to go up right here we'll create a new project right here we'll just let the create okay we'll go to the credentials for our api key So as you can see, this is our API key, but you should really configure it on your, uh, as per your needs. I'll show you how can you do this. Just click it, click on this edit tab. So you can see that there is an HTTP header request. You can add and you can restrict this key. You can add an item like for whatever your website URL might be. You can restrict this key for this purpose. And bunch of other purpose as well so but for our own demo and tutorial purpose we are not gonna restrict anything but anyways after this tutorial i'm going to delete that api key yeah so i'll just cancel this one go back to this one press copy go back again right here just come over here sorry okay and Control P, so Control V. We'll just go up right here. And I'll refresh this.
what happened okay i haven't saved that okay sorry okay yeah so as you can see if i type right boston you can see that there is bunch of other cool options out there but as you can see it really looks ugly and damn stupid as well so what we'll do we really style it up so for styling purpose what i really need to do is go back to this app.js so there are few classes as well if you really notice uh the primary class that really is that this location input location search input and the second one that we really need to name is this one so what i really do is cut this we'll go up right here we'll really we'll name it as input input suggestion okay going back to again here let's close this one so control s okay so what i really type go on uh, do is so first i'll really go on to the fonts of google fonts because i don't like their regular default fonts let's search lato okay we'll take this one okay we want import yeah so okay. control c go up right here control okay yes so for the default purpose the whole process team will be do margin margin to zero padding padding to zero okay control s okay and now what we'll do what are the type is so our class name is location search input go on back to here type out location location search input yeah search input what we will really do is go out right here so we first we want font family to lato a o lato and then sans serif we want the width around 500 pixels i guess that would be cool we want height to be around uh, 60 pixels we want the background as none ground as none we want border to be as b o r d e r border as 2 pixels pixels solid black we want the border radius radius as 5 pixels we want the font size to 1.5 rem that would be cool we want the color to be bold so the color to be black and we want the font weight to be bold as well okay so let's go on and let's save this first control s okay go up right here you can see there is a bunch of but this is styling up this really looks ugly so what i really do is just go up type out 40 pixels okay i haven't really just done that yet okay Okay, yes. So you can just see that there is this one. We really need to style this one as well. So go down below. So what we really have is this. We really want to style the drop down menu, and what? So as per what we have named this class name as input suggestion. Let's go up right here. Input. Input. 
suggestion so we, did, we also want this to be font family font family to lotto comma sans serif we want this as width to same as 500 pixels we want this height GIGHT height around 60 pixels we want this background color as white round color white okay so we really want this border border bottom as one pixels black and dotted so, dotted and yeah the display should be flex so i'll just give you one example okay control s go up right here type out mexico so as you can see it has been styled really beautiful but it really it's really stuck up to the top itself so we really need to uh, adjust its alignment so what we'll do is really just go out and display to flex we really set this align item align item to center just go up right here refresh this we'll type out mex so as you can see it just has styled it up in much better way but it doesn't look that cool so yeah we'll just style it up so i think it's uh, font size is much more right here we'll just name it as one we'll go down and we'll name it as font size to one rem one we'll one rem font weight only bold okay color black control s so control s just go back right here search this one go up m mexico yeah so now it's really cool good looking so what we really need to do right now everything is just sorted oh yeah we really need that marker type one so what i really go to do is just go to the uh, material material icon cdn just go down to this icon link just copy all this thing control it go to the index.html just go up right here in below the header tag paste it just like this one control s now go to this one before it i really want to show you something else so just like you need to add this one and control c control v but we want there are a bunch of other class will we want a specific marker so what we'll do is just we'll search for this location okay location okay, we don't want this we want this one okay so this is the class that we really need it location on just go back right here okay location location underscore on just go right here save this just come up here type out london so it has already this thing now let's just style this one first uh, let this quickly i want to get this up first okay 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 where is this diff now what i really do is i really need this as class name as canvas Okay, control S, go up right here. We'll go this up right here, canvas. 
we'll name it as height to 100 ph background uh, image will i think we'll need that uh, url that image from pixels pixels.com binoculars k okay. mm, yeah we really need this image copy the image address paste it up right here okay so what we will do background size to cover background position to center okay so and what i'll really do is location input right uh margin top we'll name it as 300 pixels margin left as 5 gram i guess 5 gram same we'll copy this one We'll paste it just right this right here. Control S and just go up right here. So, so this is what we really want to do. So let, let's say like we want Manhattan Harbor sure What is like so I'll really type out my my city Pune so here you can see there are a bunch of other cool example if you want more spacing just try out go up right here i think i think i think, I think you can just if you do this does it work okay i need to just control s again no it, i think it does need a different one so i think yeah being said that, if you really like this video, consider subscribing to this channel, make sure to hit the bell icon and consider following me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, very very like and if you have any questions, queries, comments, suggestions, just leave down in the comment box below and I'll be happy to get back to you. So till then, stay connected and I'll see you next time. Bye.